Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel Salesforce FAQs. So on this channel we post videos regarding the Salesforce admin as well as the developer parts. So if you are new to the channel then please do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a video you will get a notification regarding that. So today in this video I will show you how you can use a Salesforce screen flow to create a case related to object. So in this video we are going to create a screen flow that will create a case for the account object. So this automation technique can help you streamline case creation and, and improve the efficiency in your Salesforce org. So let's get started and see the process. So as of now I log into my Salesforce developer console and before starting the process of creating the I will show you the method of creating case through the manual process. So for that so for example we are creating a case for the account object so we have to navigate to the account object so from app launcher i am navigating to the account tab and in the account setup you have to select the account record in which you want to create the case so for example i am taking university of arizona and here you can see the option cases or you can scroll down to the section cases so here is the case section so here you have to simply click on the new button and in my setup i have also defined the case type so from here i will select the case type and then click next and then you have to enter these details to create a case like the case status case origin and the product so these are the required fields like and product type and the case currency so these are the required fields that are supposed to be filled to create a case record so instead of navigating through here we are going to create a screen flow that will that will display the required fields directly on the record page and you can also deploy that screen flow either on the object record page or the home page of the application like this is the sales application and and on the home page of sales application you can also deploy that screen flow here so you can so you can directly create the cases from the home page of the application so let's move ahead and see the process of creating the flow so for that i will again navigate to the setup page and on the setup page i will go to the quick find box and here search and select flows and under the heading process automation select flows and in the flow setup you have to click on the button new flow and here you can see the option that either you want to start the flow from scratch or use a template that is pre-built template that is a pre-built template so in this case i am going to start from scratch so i will select this option and then click on the next button so here in this step we can see the types of flows that are available so the screen flow is the only flow through which a user can interact so we will select the option screen flow and then click on the create button and now in the flow builder you can see the start element and the end element of the screen flow so now we are going to add various elements and components in this screen flow so using this flow we are going to create a case for the account object so first we will create a variable to store the id of the current account and to do that click on the toggle icon on the left hand side and here then select new resource so here the resource type you have to select as variable and the api name that you have to enter here is record id this will fetch the current record id of the account and in the data type you have to select the text and after this select the checkbox available for input and click done and now we will add a screen element to the flow through which user can give the input so for creating a case record we need the fields case origin and status these both are the picklist field so we are going to add the component picklist to the screen region and before that i will enter the label and the api name for the screen element so the label here i am going to enter as case details and the api name will be out of field and after this we will drag and drop the pick list component to the screen region so the first pick list component is going to be the status and the api name will be status again and we want to make this will require and then we have to scroll down to the section component type so here make sure that you are selected pick list and in the choice resource click on the button new choice resource and for this choice resource select the option as pick list choice set and the api name i am going to enter here is case status and the object here will be case and the data type is again going to be the pick list and the field that you have select is the status so this status field will be the 
case status field that is the standard field and after this click on the done button and now we are going to add another quick list component and this time it is for the case origin so here i will enter the label as case origin and the api name will be auto field and we want to make this field also as required and the data type here will be text and the component type will be quick list and in the choice field again click on the new choice resource so for this also the resource type is going to be the pick list choice set and the API name that I'm going to enter here is case origin and in the object field we will again select the case object and the data type for this resource is also going to be the pick list and the field that we will map with this resource is the case origin and after this click on the done button so as of now we have completed the screen element and so after this we will click on the so after completing the screen element so after completing the screen component we will click on the done so from the screen component user will uh, give the input to create the case and using that input the case the case record will be created so now we will add a create record element to the flow for that again click on the plus icon and and select create records so here i am going to enter the label as create case and the api name will be auto field and in the field how to set record field values select manually and in the object select the case object and now we will map the values of case object to the to the input field of the screen component so the first field here is the status Set so select a status and the value is going to be a status from the screen component. And the next field is origin that is the case origin, and the value is case origin from a screen component. And after this, we will add the account ID, and the value is going to be the resource variable that we have created in the beginning that is the record ID. So as of now, we have also configured the create record component and from here I will close it. So as of now, our flow is completed and now I will save it. For that, click on the save button and here I will enter the flow label and the flow API name. So the flow label I am going to give as create account cases and the flow API name will be auto filled and here click on the save button so before activating the flow you can also debug it for that you have to click on the debug button so in the debug window you have to enter the record id of the account and after deploying the flow you don't need to you don't need to enter the record id it will auto fetch the id of the current account that you have currently opened so this time i need to get the id of the account and for the testing purpose so i will copy the account id from here and in the debug window i will enter the copied account id and then click on the run button so here we have to give the input for the field status and the case origin and after entering these two required fields i will click on the next button and you can see the record is ready to get created and transaction is committed so our flow is working fine and in the case section of this account you can see this is the case created right now that i have created using the screen flow so this means our screen flow is working fine now i'm going to show you how you can deploy this flow on your record page or the or the home page of the application so in this example i am going to deploy it on the record page of the account object so for that so for deploying first we need to activate it so i will activate it so i will so i will activate it first so as of now the flow is activated and now we will navigate to the accounts tab and here in the accounts tab you need to open any of the account record or the object record for which you are creating the screen flow to create the case and here click on the setting icon and from the option select edit page and on the left hand side you can see the standard components available and from these components you have to add the flow component to the record page so in my case i have already added one flow component so don't need to repeat it 
so after adding the flow component you have to select the flow and on the left hand side you can see uh, the available screen flows so i will click on this search icon and then we will select the screen flow that we have created so this was the screen flow that we have created to create the cases for the account object so i will select this and you can also select the component visibility for this flow and also i have created a video regarding that how you can add a component visibility to the flow in salesforce so after selecting the flow we will click on the save button and after saving the changes we will go back and on the account record page you can see the screen flow is deployed so here for the sample i have only taken these two fields status and the case origin and you can also take the other required fields so let me show you it here again the status is working and the case origin is phone and then i will click next so with the working status and the origin phone i will go to the case section so you can see this case recorded is created here through the screen flow so this is how you can create the case related to the object in salesforce using the screen flows so this was all about it and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye